What is up YouTube? Bunny Films here with a brand new video and we are back in Farming and Friends with our starter farm. Uh, this is episode 3. We've spent an hour and 40 minutes uh, on this farm. I'm keeping track because I'm trying to give you guys a series that will give you a helpful guide for progressing in this game if you're a newer player. Uh, right where we left off in the last video, we had this trailer of rice that we couldn't sell because uh, there was a bug that prevented me from actually picking it up. So, we have our tiny trailer here. Oh, I'm not going to get into this player's way. We're going to sell for 2,887 coins. <laughs> I'm quickly back out. That's a massive setup there of trailers. So, we're just going to look in awe as we uh, haul our 50 crops compared to those 900 crop uh, trailers for each one. And here's our farm. It's pretty humble. We have two fields. But in today's video, we have a game plan for what we are going to be accomplishing. That involves us expanding our fields and planting more rice. Because I looked at bamboo, and it just doesn't make sense right now because we can make more money just planting rice compared to bamboo. Uh, I'm actually going to talk as I farm, that's just more efficient. Uh, however, it's just better, we're going to make more money um, right now if we just go ahead and grow a lot of rice. But we're going to go ahead, we're going to build another field attached to the back of this field right here. And the reason we're just attaching it to that one instead of making a separate field is that because we'll make less turns when we're plowing, cultivating, doing all those uh, less fun tasks. Um, but we're going to drag this here and make this 50 tiles and it will cost us 750 coins. Uh, yeah, we can do that, we can afford it, because we wanna make sure we have enough money to actually afford to buy two more boxes of rice to actually plant there. But we have those, uh, <laughs> I love this. Oh wait, <gasps> no, no, I use forest soil. No, no. <laughs> uh, we, lo we lost a lot of money. We, we, we could, uh, that, that's disappointing. That is so disappointing. <laughs> oh, so I'm, that's disappointing. I was I was talking too much while building. I should not do that. Um, <laughs> but you can't plant crops on forest soil, so we had to go ahead delete that. But we'll be able to recoup those losses when we sell our rice because we're going to be making about four thousand coins or less per cycle of crops. And if we chose to actually go with bamboo, I'll tell you why we we didn't start growing it yet. But that's because if we were to uh, grow bamboo, we would only profit about 2,600 coins on average per box. And we can only afford one box. So that means every 22 minutes, we're just going to make um, uh, 2,000 coins. But with rice, rice takes um, 8 minutes to grow. And uh, bamboo is like 22 minutes. So about 3 times the time. I'll, feel, I'll, I'll, I'll plow that lane in a moment. Um, <laughs> but it just makes sense because in the time it takes for the bamboo to grow, we can literally sell rice three times. I mean, a little less than three. But we can practically make about 12,000 coins in profit. So that's the whole point of today's video is to make some coins and a lot of money because hopefully by the end of it, we will be able to afford getting better equipment because we need to get a bigger trailer, especially... <laughs> I don't know why those didn't uh, cultivate. But we do need to get better equipment if we want to go ahead and start selling more than 50 crops at once because our trailer only holds 50 crops. And if we actually want to get the next level up trailer, which is 4,500 coins and holds 100 crops, we need to get a better tractor. And to get a better tractor, uh, the next level up is level 2, and that will run us 4,500 coins as well. And luckily it just started raining, so that means when we go ahead and plant our rice, it will grow even faster than the eight minutes it usually takes. Unfortunately though, because this field does hold up to 100 seeds and we only have a seeder that can hold 50 boxes, or 50 seeds, excuse me, uh, we're just gonna have to like stop by and refill it, or uh, refill it, excuse me. But that's the perk of getting level two equipment is that those uh, pieces of equipment will have a larger capacity so you spend less time reloading and the better equipment you get it'll actually decrease the time it takes for your crops to grow it doesn't really matter with some of these uh, low level crops like rice or even the worser ones like corn and wheat because their growth times are relatively uh short so you don't really have that much of a change when you upgrade and while that field grows, we're going to go ahead and prepare this field over here uh, by just plowing and cultivating it. Unfortunately, we cannot um, afford to buy the boxes of seeds necessary to plant here uh, because we sort of bought the forest soil. <laughs> but hopefully once we sell this field of rice here, we will be able to um, actually afford the extra boxes that we'll need. I know we'll at least be able to afford um, 
buying one box to plant here, but not uh, the second box, unfortunately. And this massive field of rice is actually ready to harvest, and we can only harvest up to 50 uh, per uh, combine load or harvester load, and then only 50 per uh, trailer load for the tractor. So that's uh, one of the things we're going to try and solve once we can actually afford better equipment. But in the meantime, we can still sell it. It's just going to take more trips. And the price of rice, I don't exactly know. I think it's like the third price down on the board. We can actually zoom in on it while our uh, vehicle is doing that. Right now, it's at 55 coins, so it's not that bad. It's probably like a little bit above the average. So let's go sell this really quickly. Then we can pick up the rest of the rice, and then we can go buy some boxes of rice to uh, plant. So we're selling this for 2,800 uh, or 700, I don't know how much it was, uh, almost 3,000. <laughs> and we do have to uh, buy the rice seeds in a bit, but I do want to go ahead and see if we can also sell these at the same price uh, before it does change because it changed. <laughs> it changed. Uh, the price refreshes every five minutes. Um, right now it's at that price and it's not that low, um, so we'll still sell it. And this load is going to sell for 2,730 coins. Not that much, but I mean, it's it's decent. Also, we have to go to the store, so I'm just going to turn around. But we do have 7,140 coins, which is pretty nice. Uh, but we're going to spend most of those, like 6,000 of those coins, on boxes of rice to go ahead and plant. So again, each box is 2,000 seeds. If you've been watching the other videos or you've been playing this game, you'll probably realize that. Uh, but let's go ahead and get our third box really quickly uh, so we can plant it on one of the new fields we built. But unfortunately, we still are lacking enough money for the fourth box because, yeah, I sort of uh, made that mistake <laughs> earlier. Let's not talk about that. And we can go ahead and load up one box of seeds into the cedar because that's all it can fit, run over some fans, and go on our way. We will have to stop by the trailer to refill with the second box eventually, and then while this grows, we will prepare the other field uh, to um, plant the rest of our seeds in. And just like that, we have this whole field planted. So from this, we will probably profit almost 2,000 coins. And what's nice about having the two fields, I said this in the other video, but it's uh, what's nice is that when you have this one growing here, you can actually begin preparing the other field here so that while you're waiting for crops to grow, you're not just waiting around doing nothing and you can have something to do. So let's go ahead, pick up our last box of rice to go ahead and plant on field number two. And now it's just a matter of waiting for all of our rice to grow on our first field right here. And then once this is done growing, we can probably start plowing and cultivating it and probably plant the next batch of seeds. And by the time we finish that, we can actually go ahead and pick up the rest of the seeds right here. So I think the rice is pretty much done growing over here. So let's go ahead and see if we can actually pick it up. Hopefully we can. Probably we can't. Um, okay, we can actually pick some of it up. That's great. Unfortunately, there are fans in the way who will be getting run over. That's what happens when you stand on my field. Not the first fan to get run over and probably not the last. So if you ever join me uh, for my videos, and if you do want to join me for a video, um, my joins are always on. I announced my Discord server linked in the description below before I start recording. Um, I will ping all the members who want to be pinged and they will know when to join. And right now I can't see the exact price for the rice. That rhymes. Um, but right now it is red. So what we're going to do is we're just going to focus on harvesting all of this rice here. And then we're just going to wait for the price to change because if we sell it too low, we'll actually lose money. So it's just not worth selling it when it's that red. So the price of rice seems to improved, and we also have this field ready for the next round of seeds. This one here is about to finish growing as well, so we want to work as quickly as possible because, I mean, uh, we want to sell at the good price it is at right now. And we have seeds inside of, the, or we have crops inside of this trailer, inside of the combine, harvester, whatever you want to call it, and then also some ready to be harvested on the field. And we'll take a look at what it is. It looks to be uh, 57 coins is pretty decent. I don't want to get in the way of this player here, so we're going to try to go around them because I know they're making millions of coins while I'm here making thousands. But hey, you guys start from somewhere. So we're selling this for nearly 3,000 coins, just eight coins short of that. Uh, but let's go ahead, get the harvester loaded into here, pick up those crops, and then we'll make a separate trip to the store where we'll buy uh, four boxes of the seeds. 
Uh, we'll unload it right here really quickly. There we go. And hopefully it doesn't take us too much time to actually go ahead and pick up the rest of the rice here. So Dennis Daly here is the one selling all these trailers. And I think he's up to 150 million coins. So, or maybe he profited that, or that's just his total. I don't know, but that's still really crazy. But look at us, we're at 7,124 coins. And after we sell this, we're just going to, I guess we can just park right here because it's not going to be in the way for the time being. Uh, but after we sell, we should have almost 10,000 coins. And what my goal is, is to save up the rest of the coins. I mean one so that we can buy another box of rice. Uh, so we can plant the whole field, but also so that we can um, eventually upgrade our equipment, get a better tractor, and then eventually a larger trailer. And then I think a nice, uh, another nice upgrade would also be a larger cedar. I'm not too concerned about upgrading the harvester, even though it only has a capacity of 50, uh, but it's fine for what it does right now. And we can always look at the prices when we go to the store to get our new tractor. Um, Okay, we have to go back and get that one tile. Uh, but we can look at the prices for a new harvester, the level two one, uh, when we go to the store, but that's not really my uh, biggest priority right now. So let's sell this for nearly 3,000 again, and we have finally reached more than 10,000 coins on the save. It would be a lot more, a little bit more, it'd be like 10,800 had I not made that mistake earlier. But we now, uh, we could afford uh, bamboo, but like I was saying in my last video, right now we're making more money from selling rice because we can buy more boxes instead of just uh, one box of bamboo. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to buy these two boxes right here. And then theoretically, after we sell these two boxes, at a decent price at least, uh, we will be able to afford, or all these, uh, hold on. And theoretically, once we sell all four of these boxes, uh, once they're all done growing, we will be able to afford the uh, next up or the next level up tractor, which is the first step to getting some better equipment. Because after that, uh, we can actually then go afford um, or uh, start using a better trailer once we buy it, and then a better cedar, uh, better plow cultivator, and I'm excited about that. And it's sort of tough to tell without the headlights of the tractor, at least they're on right now. Uh, but it's sort of tough to tell where we can actually plant the seeds and where we can't. We're going to start off with this field here. Uh, the other, oh, I should have I should have started on the other field. Oh well, but we still have to uh, plow and cultivate that little section there. So we'll just uh, plant all these 50 seeds on this little area here that's actually ready. And then we can go ahead, plant the seeds on the other side and then um, figure out this. So in some ways, this um, 50 uh, capacity cedar uh, sort of acts as like a 100 capacity cedar. And I say that because you can actually hold a box or two when you're seeding it. So um, like literally once it runs out, you just press V and it automatically reloads. So that sort of like eliminates the need for me to actually buy a better cedar. But I think it does help speed up uh, the growth time when you do buy better equipment. So yeah, like I was saying, we literally ran out. Um, I noticed a little bit too late. Uh, but we can just press V to fill it and literally fill it back up. So we've planted three of the four boxes so far, but we can't remember or we can't forget that we actually have to go ahead and prepare this little field section here. So that's what we are going to go ahead and do next. My plows and cultivators are over here. So let's go use these really quickly and then we can go plant. And finally, we can go ahead and seed this area of the farm that we are lacking. And then we will finally um, we'll finally be able to say that we were able to plant 200 seeds on our farm. Once we sell this rice, we will be able to afford the new tractor. What we can also do, uh, we have a few minutes to spare. Uh, I think like maybe four minutes, uh, but we'll go to the vehicle store and we'll take a look at some of the equipment. I know I go there a lot. Also, look at the price of rice. Oh, that's so good. 61 that's the best i have seen in this whole server uh but we're gonna head to the vehicle store really quickly over here we're gonna take a look at combines tractors and then uh, level two attachments so let's go ahead just park here there we go and inside of here let's go ahead talk to the guy and we'll talk uh, we'll look at harvesters first so this is the one we cur uh, currently have this is the level one and this is the level two so it's very cheap we can actually afford it if we want to uh, after we sell the rice and it has a higher capacity probably i think a capacity of 100 but it doesn't really say it should but it doesn't uh we can afford to get that later on but that's not going to be on the um, top of the list of things i want to get but if we take a look at tractors, this is what we really need. This one here for 4,500 coins, and I guarantee you, we will be buying this at the end of the video. Uh, but if we go ahead and take a look at some of the other things, we'll take a look at the plows. This one here, um, it'll help your crops grow fra uh, faster, but then again, it only still um, plows one tile. You have to upgrade to the level 3 if you want to go to two tiles. 
Uh, looking at cultivators, it's pretty much the same thing, uh, speeds up growth, but this one is the level 3 one, and that will help you plow uh, more tiles. And then finally, looking at cedars, which I don't think I'm going to upgrade either for a while. This one here has <laughs> a higher capacity, uh, I think 100 seeds. Um, but I don't want to get it just yet. And there's also trucks that you can afford to get if you want to. I mean, we could buy this one for 2,000 coins, but there's really no use because the trailer we have does the same thing as the truck bed. Uh, and if anything, this is just more useless than the tractor because the tractor can at least pull other equipment. But this does, uh, does give you more space if you want to tow a tra uh, trailer behind it because then you have the space back here to hold boxes and the trailer, whereas the tractor doesn't really have any space. So I'm pretty sure all that rice there is pretty much done growing, but it says it's not just because it's like factoring in all the other rice here that is not done growing. So we'll just park this here really quickly and see if we can pick it up with our trailer because I, or our uh, harvester, excuse me. Um, oh gosh, all the lag. <laughs> um, uh, because I want to sell at this really good price it's at right now, 61 coins. Uh, let's see, can we, oh we can pick it up, look at that. So we probably won't be able to sell all of this rice at the super good price it's at right now, but we'll at least be able to sell this trailer load unless the price has changed since. But it still looks to be the same. Uh, we just have to actually drive over here, and I think I actually loaded... Okay, all the rice is in here, which is good. Uh, a lot of people are following me and asking me to... Uh, oh gosh, we're going so slowly. Uh, <laughs> I can't pay attention to the chat, unfortunately, while recording. Um... Just lots. Oh no, the rice is. Uh, <laughs> the rice. No. It's 42. That's disappointing. We missed out on the price of our lifetime. Okay, so we're taking this back. We are not selling at that price. We're just going to wait the five minutes it takes for it to change, and hopefully it will change for the better. And it's not like we are wasting our time by waiting. We can just have this parked at our farm, and we can even pick some of uh, the rice up with our uh, harvester there, or we can actually plow some of this, which I think think I will do I want to do I don't know I don't think I want to do that just yet yeah we'll just pick up some of the rice and then we'll see so now we're just cultivating I mean there's not really anything fun to document while I'm doing this I just want to give you all an update uh when I'm doing these certain things in case you're curious but it's literally just a me a matter of me just driving around with my cultivator um, between these two separate fields. Again, it's going to be annoying having to, like literally only having half of this field ready and then by the time I harvest the rest, it's just going to be, um, yeah, I'll have to redo all this again. <laughs> Okay, so the price of rice has changed. I forgot to actually restart recording, um, so you just missed that. But right now it's at 50 coins. It's a slightly miserable price to be at, unfortunately. It makes me sad that I am selling at that price. However, um, I did the math and I just figured out that we will barely have enough money to actually afford the level two tractor that we're trying to buy by the end of the video. I'm just gonna pick this up while I can. I mean, I'm not in any rush to sell at that price because if anything, it'll most likely go up. So like, even after three hours, I'm still farming rice. I don't even have any new vehicles, but that should be changing once we actually sell the rest of our rice because we will be able to sell it all and then still have enough money to afford to buy four boxes of seeds to actually plant. Because it's actually not beneficial. If you spend more money, then you can actually um, like replenish your crops with, if that makes any sense. Because I still want to be able to buy the same number of boxes. I don't want to have to decrease that because I don't have enough money. And even if and if that's the case with you, then you just want to sell another round of crops, another cycle of crops before you actually um, uh, buy the vehicle you want to buy. Okay, time to go ahead and sell the third batch of uh, rice. We already have the fourth batch picked up. It's just sitting in our harvester. So literally right when we get back to our farm, we can just go ahead, pick it up and go sell it. There we go, another 2,625 coins, and right now we're at like literally 99991 uh, coins, 9,991, almost 10,000. So we're going to go ahead and sell this, and now we can head, oh, don't run into me, uh, and now we can go ahead, head over to the uh, vehicle store and get ourselves our brand new tractor, because after all, we do deserve it. And we can also consider the coins we're going to get from selling this tractor. So if we detach this, because I don't have a need for two tractors, we can go to build mode, click sell, and if we sell this, we're going to get 300 coins. So let's sell it. Oh, you can't sell your last remaining tractor. Okay, that's a good uh, that's a good fail safe, uh, especially for some players who might accidentally sell it and then not able not be able to continue the game. But here we go. This is the level two tractor. We're going to buy it. There. Oh, wrong button. And there we go. 
voila, we now have the new tractor and we can sell this one and get a free 300 coins. So this tractor served us well. Thank you so much for existing in my life. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, press, hold on. Let's press O on my keyboard. There we go. And now that tractor is no more. But look over here. We have our brand new tractor. And this one's going to eventually be sold like the last one. But for now, we will enjoy it. And this one does go a little bit faster than the previous one. Unfortunately, it does not match our red equipment, but it is still a nice upgrade. It doesn't really change anything in terms of farming, except we just drive a little faster. But what it does most importantly is that it allows us to use some other level two equipment. And we also have 8,000 coins, which means we can still afford to buy all four boxes of rice. So we're gonna do that in the next video because in the next video, we're gonna save up our coins so that we can get some better equipment, um, like a larger trailer, uh, better cedar, better cultivator, all those things. And I don't make any progress on this save off of camera, um, so everything you see here is literally the only progress being done to my farm and including like the rest of the series. So thank you all for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. If you learned something, that's great. Okay, bye. <laughs>